Yeah. Welcome, welcome everybody to another episode to uh, my YouTube channel, another video, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not that great with the introduction, you know, a lot of people just, you know, they have episodes one through whatever a million and some just uh, say, hey, you know, today we're gonna install this exhaust or uh, uh, we're gonna do a, a diffuser or uh, we're gonna start wood bearing, you know, kind of thing, you know? Uh, this video specifically, it's uh, just kind of mumbling and just kind of chat. I uh, kind of want to talk a little bit with you guys out there watching this video. Uh, fortunately, there's not a lot of you guys watching this uh, YouTube channel. So uh, for those of you guys that are uh, watching this video, welcome to uh, to uh, Vasily Garage channel and Vasily Garage, you know, Vasily Garage, as you can see it in this video. Uh, like I said, this video is not really that specific uh, about uh, anything really. Uh, I just want to take the time to just kind of uh, set the camera on the ladder and just kind of talk. You know a little bit about uh, my vision, a little bit about Monica, uh, a little bit about everything, I guess. Um, so I just want to start off with uh, introducing myself. Uh, I've done this before in my previous videos and my introduction. Uh, some of you guys and girls might not know that I was actually born and raised in Eastern Europe in Romania. Uh, that's right, Romania. Not Rome, Romania. Eastern Europe, between Russia and Germany, somewhere in that continental right there. So, I came to the States in uh, 1996. I've been in the, in the States since 1996, uh, quite some time now. Now, a little bit about myself. I uh, grew up in a uh, in the capital of Bucharest, uh, uh, Sector Five, and uh, I was raised and I was brought up in a uh, very uh, strict uh, religious home, I should say, Christian slash religious. Uh, and uh, a lot of people that actually my social media I talk to on a daily basis, a weekly, a lot of times they be like, "Yo, man, you're so religious." In fact, I come to the conclusion that. And I quite actually hate that word, you know, religious. There's a lot of people out there that actually live a religious life, a ritual life, uh, you know, filling the blank, uh, check mark kind of thing, you know, but actually don't quite have a relationship, you know, with Christ, you know, what Christ has done for us, what Christ has done for my family, you know, what Christ has done for the universe. So I'm not that great at preaching, but that, that's just my belief. You know, that's just what I believe in. And, you know, I'm uh, here in America, uh, which as I mentioned, it, I moved here in 1996, and God has been so grateful. And over the years, uh, you know, I learned, you know, how to love, how to be caring, how to be passionate, how to build cars, you know, uh, how to be dedicated to certain things in life. And, uh, you know, I didn't see those things back back then, back in Romania, and uh, it's sad to say that actually I do uh, keep in contact with a few people uh, from back there or even here in the States from my hometown, and they're still very religious, it's just because the way they were brought up, you know what I mean, you just kind of like, you pass on, and this is what you got to do, you know, you know, I kind of really stepped out of that, that zone, and I actually just kind of like, you know, experience it for myself about life, about, you know, uh, uh, putting yourself down before others, giving up to others, you know, and uh, what I come to the conclusion is that, you know, we just kind of jump in hoops now, you know, because uh, actually I didn't quite finish what I was going to say about my hometown, but uh, yeah, I'm here in the States and, you know, God has been grateful and, you know, I'm able to, uh, have a better life for my family, for myself, and I've been blessed because I tell you what, and that kind of what brings me to this conclusion, um, you know, uh, forget everything else I said before, 
you know, some of us and some of you guys out there are watching this and say, man, you know what? I wish I would have had this Monica. I wish I could have built a car like that. I wish I could have a garage like that. You know, I wish I could have a motorcycle. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, you know? Um, honestly, I had the same wish growing up. Uh, I grew up, like I said, in Romania, uh, not owning a bicycle, I'm talking about owning a maybe two set of clothes and one pair of shoes that I'll probably wear for the next, you know, five years, regardless that my parents buy my shoes like three or four sizes bigger, so they won't have to buy shoes for a few years. And then having blisters and not having socks and, you know, I mean, I know it. I know the struggle of starvation. I know the struggle of hunger. I know, I know uh, 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 being poor. I know being, uh, 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 what's he call it called? Uh, deprived in other way. Uh, other people having, you know, cars or having, you know, money or, you know, be able to afford trips or vacations and not be able to own, have that growing up. You know, I always kind of grew with this mentality, I wish, I wish, I wish, but then you know what, I came to a point as a small child and I say, you know what, you know what, it's never gonna happen, you know what I mean, it's never going to happen, so you know what, I'm just going to take a day by day and see where this is going to go, uh, like I said, I was brought in a Christian home and, you know, and, and I remember as a child, you know, I was probably like, probably 12 years old, uh, a little bit older than my oldest son, Noah. And I must say, it's like, I would just cry out. I was like, wow, is, is this life? Is this, you know? Because, you know, like I mentioned it, uh, don't want to display my childhood on here, on social media. I don't want anybody to get a hold of me and say child abuse and things like that. But I grew up very rough, if that makes any sense. I'm just gonna throw it out there. And some of you guys that are watching and listening to this, that you are from those Eastern European country, uh, uh, you know the culture is very rough. And uh, you know, I, I, I always, as a child, I thought about like, you know what? There's more to life than this. There's, there's gotta be more to life. God, if you true God out there, you know, like, please save me. Please show me something more to life than this, because I don't see this going anywhere. I cry. I mean, I cry out. I pray those prayers as a child in my bed uh, in the middle of the night. Well, actually, I didn't have a bed. We shared like a three, uh, three of us in one bed. You know, I left my introduction. I was, <laughs> I'm so horrible at this. See, see, that's why my YouTube sucks. Uh, yeah, I was raised in a Christian home, but I also have like eight siblings, six brothers, including myself and two sisters. So uh, we share one room pretty much, uh, one room, slash living room between the eight of us, the kids, and my parents have one room. Mm, I think my sisters might have, I been so far back, but I remember for a while they were all sharing a room. It's rough, imagine, eight siblings sharing like a room, or like six boys sharing one room, and in this apartment in Romania, it was just very tiny and small. So, to recap that, to go back to Romania, and leaving those moments and where I'm at now, you know, I can see how God had mercy, how God had, you know, pity on me and my family, how God has been generous to me to where I'm at now. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to, to sit here. And I know you may be sitting there and watching and listening to this and be like, man, these guys are weirdo. But honestly, honestly, and that's why I want to do this video. Uh, I'm so thankful, you know? And, you know, and my challenge to you out there watching and listening to this is like, never give up, you know? You don't know what's your plan. You don't know what God's purpose for your life. You don't know what's your, your talent, what's your call for you on this earth, you know? And I believe that we're all here, not by coincidence, you know what I mean? I believe that my, I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to live a life and give God the glory, you know? And that's just that. Now, while doing that, enjoy life, you know? Having hobbies and, you know, riding motorcycles. It's Sunday, I'm going to the racetracks. I'm gonna go race my motorcycle. 
Suzuki GSX S1000. I have one of these before and I wrecked it. Uh, too much beef small into a corner. Um, God, again, God's been watching out, you know, even though sometimes we do dumb stuff and reckless, you know. So uh, I'm gonna go to the track and try to do the right way and go be small there. But again, you know, everything that I have, everything that I own, my God's great, like no joke. Like, you know, I don't know if you believe it, I don't know who you, you are in your faith, you know. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that my peace and my joy comes from Christ, you know what I mean? Reading the Bible, fellowship, going to church. And again, this is not a ritual, you know, like I must go to church. You know, there's times like a lot of Sundays I just hop on my bike and I just go right and I connect with the nature, you know, and I give God the glory and I give God the praise for what an awesome world, you know. Some of you guys may not know here in Arkansas, it's actually very beautiful. A lot of lakes, lots of rivers, a lot of green, you know. And I enjoy, I enjoy the weather, I enjoy the green, the scenery, you know. There's only one thing that can, it, it, this, it, like it connects me and the nature, it's the motorcycle. The motorcycle just kind of gives me that passion to like, you know, pull me and take me through these awesome roads and awesome nature that God created. It's all here for us to enjoy. And I enjoyed that, you know. And I love my life here, like I love Arkansas, you know. And I like to travel and enjoy and go beast mode, either on the car or on the bike or bicycle with the kids, whatever, you know. But again, and this is kind of my purpose uh, of this whole video. Uh, I don't know where you are in your struggle. I don't know what you're facing. I know there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of uh, uh, a lack of, uh, of, of love, uh, really. You know, there's a lot of us, and speaking about myself, I grew up not really know what love is. Yeah, right? I grew up in a Christian home, you know, right? think you're getting that now it's more of a religious home you know not actually experiencing now that I I am a father you know what I mean and experience God's love and grace in my life you know I share I pass that on to my wife and my kids and yeah, just all around God's been so generous and you know I can see God's purpose in my life and you know and I love that I, I, I love to share that with you guys out there and you know I hope you guys don't get discouraged wherever you are in your life uh, I know I'm a kind of weirdo. I mean, who's not a weirdo? Who's perfect? And I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of those people out there, they post their lifestyle that everything is perfect. Everything is like, ah, it's fake. I'm gonna tell you because life is not perfect. You know what I mean? Life, man, very rare. Life is just perfect for some people, you know. But we all struggle. We all have needs. We all have wants. You know. We all have hurts. You know what I mean? We all have baggage. You know what I'm saying? You carry on over the years. So. You know, my challenge to you, my brother and sister, is wherever you are, in your home, in your relationship, in your household, in the work area, school, wherever you may be, please understand this, you know. Uh, sometimes, you know, we don't see the big picture and we don't know uh, why we go through this, but I know one thing, the day will come we're going to be united with Christ in heaven and everything, all of this, all of this is going to be nothing compared to what's out there, like nothing compared to what's out there. So I'm looking forward to that. And meanwhile, like it's awesome that I'm able to enjoy life and, you know, enjoy life more than some of you guys out there. And some of you guys out there are doing a lot better. And that's awesome. And I'm grateful for people that are actually doing better than me. And for those that are not doing better, you know, I'm encouraging and I'm trying to be an uplifting and, um, be a uh, very, uh, very friendly uh, a mentor to some of you guys out there as Christ has poured out to me, you know? So, uh, again, this is just pure, just wanna like, you know, pour out some uh, some faith and some, you know, wisdom and some uh, um, hope for some of you guys out there because without hope, there's, there's no go, there's no tomorrow, you know what I mean? There's always a hope, I'm gonna, hope I'm gonna get to work, hope I'm gonna get this car fixed. Hope I'm gonna go to the track and feel great and I'm not gonna drop the bike, you know what I'm saying? And I hope that this burn, and I know that this burn is gonna go away from burning on the exhaust pipe, you know? Like, there's always a hope, you know? So, uh, yeah, it was nothing really car related on this video. We just kinda like, just kinda chatting a little bit and just kinda talking. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been an awesome journey, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, again, now, as you guys might have seen, and I'm holding this magazine right here. You can see it. This magazine right here, some of you guys might be familiar. It's a Super Street and it's the red issue. 
a red issue. Of a lot of red cars that were featured in Super Street over the years or the recent years. So as you know, some of you guys may not know, Monica's been featured in Super Street and I got a magazine here and I like to uh, uh, do it as a giveaway. Let me find the page of Monica so I can show you guys real quick. This is it right there. See that right there? That's Monica. Yeah, so I'll be doing some more videos. Uh, you see that blue EG right there and the white EG? They both been future in Super Street, but this particular one I'm holding, it's actually the Integra. So this magazine right here is for you out there. I'm only gonna do one giveaway. If you're watching and listening to this, some of you guys may follow me on Instagram, some of you guys don't. I'm gonna put my Instagram at the end of this video or in the description. And whoever messages me first with their address, they will get this magazine shipped for free from me. In fact, I'm also going to give you a sticker with the magazine as well. Let me show you what the magazine looks like. I mean, the stick looks like. So, that's the sticker right there. Chabam, Basile Garage. Some of you guys may not know. It took me six months roughly to build this car. And uh, it was a trip. It was a challenge for sure. It was a lot of work. And uh, it's done now, and I get to enjoy it. And. Uh, you know, connect with some of you guys out there that brings us together. This car just kind of brings us together as a car community, as a car enthusiast. So, uh, again, guys, thanks for tuning in into this uh, video and watching it. Uh, like I said it before, uh, if you like, you know, what I post and what I talk about, uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. It's somewhere on the right corner of the screen there. Um, and uh, again, uh, I appreciate each one of you guys. If I offend each and one of you, uh, or some of you guys out there, the things that I said, or the things that you thought I might have said, that, you know, I apologize. My intention is not to crush any dreams or any feelings. It's just to build people up, you know what I mean? So uh, again, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate each one of you guys. And don't forget, you're awesome. And I mean it, you're awesome. Now I'll catch you guys next time, huh?